Wasn't that banned? Yes, yeah, still in Skittles. Oh, hi folks, welcome to Pale Exercise. I'm Philip, a certified personal trainer and group exercise instructor. Here at Pale Exercise, we don't push products, sell bias, or rant. We give you education because we believe that's important. We're going through the ingredients in the top 10 most popular Halloween candies, and today is number one. Skittles. Probably not in an Easter egg though. Is this really what the rainbow tastes like? Finding the nutrition facts for Skittles was ridiculous. This is the official Skittles website. If you don't notice, it's clearly marketed towards children. And when you want to find something like the ingredients in the ingredient panels, a oh look. It isn't there. Instead, I had to go to a third-party site that sells Skittles. With the ingredient panel here on the third-party site, we will be talking about 19 ingredients today. If you've been watching our other top 10 most popular candy videos that you can see here, the number of ingredients Skittles has tied for number two with hot tamales for the second most ingredients. The ingredients are listed by weight. The ingredient that has the highest weight is listed first. And hey, sugar. And the ingredient with the lowest weight is listed last. Are you ready to learn something new? As long as I can eat them, we'll see if you want to. First, carnauba wax. The hardest plant wax that comes from the carnauba palm. A tree! It provides glossy and slippery surfaces. What coats? Next ingredient, sodium citrate, primarily used as a food additive, usually for flavor or as a preservative. Look at all the colors. 10 dyes in total. Look at all the dyes. What does this do to my insides? Do you want to know? I feel like I should be nervous. Food dyes are non-nutritive food additives that do not provide any health benefit. Only make things look good. Big issue on the research of dyes are that virtually all the studies evaluated the safety of individual dyes. Many foods, though, contain mixtures of dyes. Some dyes have already shown to cause cancer individually. The question is, what do they do when they are mixed with other dyes? Blue one light. Light colors are manufactured with the help of FD and C dyes and can thus be easily mixed with fat, sugars, and oil. Lake colors are stable. Dyes cannot be mixed with oil. Next, blue one, the fourth most heavily used food coloring. Dyes are complex organic chemicals originally derived from coal tar and now typically made from petroleum. What we put in cars? That is a form of petroleum. Next ingredient, blue two lake. Next ingredient, yellow six, the third most widely used food dye. Yellow six may be contaminated with several carcinogens, including benzene and amino biphenol. Carcinogens? A carcinogen is something that can cause you to have cancer. Oh, fantastic. Studies have shown adrenal tumors in animals, though it is disputed by the industry and the FDA. Food industry, that is. Products in the European Union that include yellow six must carry a warning label and they're currently being phased out. What about us, the U United States? Still approved in the US and used. Yellow six lake, next ingredient, yellow five, the second most widely used food dye. Yellow five may be contaminated by several carcinogens. More carcinogens. Yellow five has sometimes been shown to cause severe hypersensitivity reactions in a small number of people and might trigger hyperactivity and other behavior effects in children. Oh, great. Yellow five lake. Next ingredient, red 40, is the number one most used dye. Has been linked with hypersensitivity. According to the Center for Science in the Public Interest, red 40 should be excluded from foods unless and until new tests clearly demonstrate its safety. Next ingredient, titanium dioxide, a synthetic ingredient mainly used in food and cosmetic applications for its whitening properties. It is to be banned in France this year. In America? No, only France. Next ingredient, Red 40 Lake. Next, natural and artificial flavors are flavoring products that food manufacturers add to their products to enhance the taste. Natural flavors are created from substances extracted from plants or animal sources, where artificial flavors are created in a lab and sometimes contain fewer chemicals than natural flavors. And some food scientists have argued that artificial flavors are actually safer because they are produced under tightly controlled laboratory conditions. Artificial flavors are also less expensive to produce. 
which makes them more appealing to food manufacturers. You get what you pay for. Next ingredient, modified cornstarch. Cornstarch has been changed or altered in some way to make it more useful in food production. Modified starches are typically used as food additives for the same reason as conventional starches. Thickening, stabilizing, or emulsifying. On the list of hidden MSG. Great. GMO. GMO corn accounted for 92% of corn acreage in 2018. Next ingredient. Tapioca dextrin, a starch extract from the combessive plant or yucca root. Thickeners in liquid foods and as film formers in food coatings. At least it's not from an animal skin. Next ingredient. Citric acid is commonly found in citrus fruits like lemons and limes. It is what gives them that tart, sour taste. It is used as a flavoring and preserving agent. I like lemons, you like limes. Let's sit here and bust some rhymes. Now, let's talk about hydrogenated palm oil instead. Hydrogenated palm kernel oil is derived from the kernel or seed of the fruits in oil palms. Food companies use hydrogenated oil to increase shelf life and save costs. Always about saving money and lasting longer. What about our health? Follow the money. Hydrogenation causes trans fats to be made. But wasn't that banned? Yes. Yet, if a label says trans fat free, it probably has it. What? According to the US Food and Drug Administration, a company can label a food free of trans fat if the actual content is 0.5 grams per serving or less. This isn't the same as zero grams. Partially hydrogenated oils can affect heart health because they increase bad cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, or LDL cholesterol, and lower good high density lipoprotein, or HDL cholesterol. Since partially hydrogenated oils contain trans fat, best to avoid any food product that contains partially hydrogenated oils. I don't get it. What's the point of a label if they can lie on it? Next ingredient. Corn syrup consists mostly of dextrose, a sweet, thick liquid made by treating cornstarch with acids or enzymes. More corn. Corn syrup contains zero nutritional value other than calories, promotes tooth decay, and is mainly used in foods with little intrinsic nutritional value. Next ingredient. Sugar. Less is better. The number one ingredient in skills, thus the highest content in them. From weight gain, to heart disease, to acne, increases type 2 diabetes, may increase cancer. Should I go on? No. Stop. And that's what makes up Skittles. Do you really want to eat them now? I want real food, and you should too. Please, check out all the research below that we had to cram in this short video. Don't believe us, research it yourself. Please, subscribe, as we'll be going deeper into foods that you are consuming, and check out the other candy videos. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Woohoo! Skittles. Taste the chemicals.